Well, hello there. This is the B2, and today we are going to talk about applied energistics. So, we're going to learn three specific things, and that is going to be an import bus, an export bus, and a level emitter. We're going to learn how to use them and why we use them and how to automate some systems. And so today we're going to take a simple smelting combination uh, of the sag mill and the alloy smelter and we're going to turn iron ore into iron ingots. And we're going to tell the system to do this up until a certain point. So let's get moving. We've got some uh, dense cable here. We're going to go ahead and pop just a little line down here. It doesn't matter because, again, it's not going to connect to the blue, as we learned in the last episode. And then let's take a look here. We're going to put our sag mill, let's just say, right here. We're going to throw an alloy smelter right beside him. And we're going to go ahead and configure this, and we're going to tell this thing to push. So whatever comes through the sag mill is going to push to the alloy smelter, right? Pretty simple, uh, you know, pretty simple idea that most people, when they get into modded, they figure that out pretty quick. So what you do is you'd put a chest over here and a chest over here, and then you'd pull it from one chest and push it to the next chest, and you can kind of automate that without the ME system. But let's do it a little bit smarter. Let's get power hooked up to these two guys. Luckily, I did this before I started filming, so I don't have to wait on that. And now you'll see they're filling up, so it's just ticking away here. And there's no upgrades in here. <clears throat> so uh, let's go ahead, and then I'll show you the octatic a capacitor upgrade. We'll put it over here. Um, when you put this into the system here, it's going to move the amount of RF from a very low amount up to a half a million RF so and you'll see how this was from a hundred thousand over here to five hundred thousand over here so let's go ahead grab another one of these guys upgrade both machines and boop you see the power disappears but it's only because it went from a hundred thousand stores to five hundred thousand stores so kinda need to have these octatic capacitors and that's the max upgrade that you can use uh, in these ender IO upgrades but pretty handy and as you see in the top there you can see what's going on so now we're going to have to do what's called an export bus on the side here now the, don't forget the reason we're using an export bus is because as it relates to the ME system it's going to um, pull or export from the ME out to this machine right and if I hook up the machine there it's all in there so now if I was able to put some iron ore in here you would see inside let's pull an iron ore from the ME system so let's go take a look here how much M iron ore do we have well there you go see it counting down so let's put this all back in there and you can see it goes 170 165 it's loading this machine out of the ME system see it so it's just trying to load here but this octatic capacitor is just pushing these back in so if you look over here now we're producing iron ingots pretty cool but they're not going anywhere they're just hanging out there so if we were able to put more cable here and put the import bus which takes it back into the ME system now look now this amounts going down same so if we go to the ME system boom now we have this ore coming out, this ore coming in, right, as the ingots. And you could just sit and watch it pile up. And you might say, well, B2, that's great, but I don't need that many iron ingots in my system. What if I need the, the powder to do something? And that's where the level emitter comes in. So we're going to go ahead and plug this down. And then we're going to take this little guy up here and boop, we're going to shoot him up there, see? And he's emitting. So if we click on this guy and we say it's only active with a signal, then that's true. So put this in here in the level emitter and we tell it, that, look, when it gets to 100, when, when it gets to 100, we're going to turn this off, right? We're going to turn off the redstone signal emits when levels are below or equal to the limit. So this should go to 100 in the system here. And then it should turn off. See? It recognized that there's more in the system. And there's more coming in here because there's more in the machine already. So it's going to cook what we have out here. It's just getting the rest of the stuff cleaned out of this bottom row. And see how it's queued up and waited, waiting to go now? 
and then this guy turns off when there's nothing else left to go right so let's take a look now what if we went and changed it to go to 150 right we could change this level emitter let's go 150 this guy fires back up boom we're back to producing iron ingots until it gets to 150 in here and we're just going to kind of go ahead and let that run so this has been the b2 working with applied energistics and today we learned import buses export buses and level emitters i hope you had a great time uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to work on something else and we'll take a look at it have a great night